actually, I didn't choose to specialize in supply chain, and it just happened. I read computer science, University of Benin, um, and I did quite well. I came out with the second class upper. This is my shining time, so let me say it. <laughs> yeah, then after that, I, I applied for jobs. I just saw this in this um, advert, and I applied for um, computer science roles in, in um, Diamond Bank and Nestle then. So I was hired, and both organizations at different times in the process hired me for, for supply chain management training jobs. Then when I started, I, I realized that this is a new, it's a new thing in Nigeria. So I was just reading and I became so interested. And I was reading everything that I know would help me to become better at what I do and to know more, a lot more than what I already know in what I'm doing. And the fact that no single day is the same in supply chain made me to stay. In supply chain, every day is different and it's been fun all the way. Fun and work. <laughs> Yes, I have worked um, in a number of male perceived roles. Said I've worked in um, head of logistics and distribution. I've worked as head of customer service, um, import and export. I've um, managed planning teams, um, personal procurement teams, and generally corporations. Actually, I feel very safe and self-assured. This is so because I know what I bring to the table every time. Anytime I join any organization or any team, I don't leave them the way I met them. I don't leave them worse or same, but rather I leave them better than I met them. I bring best in class contribution to the table all the time, or if you like, world class contribution. And so with this, I feel very safe and, and self assured. <music> They are normally what any of my male counterparts also have experienced operationally, you know. But the key one for me as a female is the fact that um, people just believe that you should quickly fail or quickly succeed. So it's a challenge because they won't give you the same level of space that they'll give to your male counterparts, but they'd rather, you know, put a bet to say she's going to fail or she's going to succeed quickly. So this is one major challenge that I think is still there in this space for females. I'm a very focused person. I think that prepared me for the roles. And then also I'll say my background. I came from a background where my grandma, an illiterate, you know, she was always supporting other women to be better, she would always stand up for them against men that would want to put them down unfairly. In those days in the village, I heard so many stories about her. Very courageous woman. And then also my mom, she used to be a banker. She worked with the defunct Tavana Bank of Nigeria then, and then she had eight of us. And you see her getting up very early in the morning, preparing breakfast with some help from my cousin then staying with us. And each of us, eight of us, would go to school with a food pack of balanced diet. She'd always ensure that there's fruits in the food pack. Eight children with her Unilag um, academic work. She was also at, at a point doing um, NIB, bankers um, certification. With eight children, she was doing all of this together and still was a great banker. So I'd say having those two women in my life at a point in my life um, prepared me for this, for this role. I'm, presently occupying. My, my family has always been very supportive of my decisions. You know, there were times when I had to work weekends um, in my former roles, uh, when I had to work weekends, public holidays, you know, even work late nights at times. But they were always very supportive. In fact, my husband has been really very supportive in that each of these times when I had to meet deadlines and had to do extra work, he would always, you know, just give me that space and help with the other things in the, in the house to ensure that our children don't suffer. So I would say he has been my ally and in fact is my greatest ally till date. <music> I 
would say this interview is one benefit. I'm not sure you've interviewed by male counterparts, you know, so I would say yes, this interview first. And also the fact that you see um, women like you giving you thumbs up when you are doing well. You see business leaders, even men, you know, giving you, you know, kudos for, for, for work, for job well done. I think those are some of the benefits. And then the fact also that you see other younger women um, looking up to you to say, because I would like to be like you someday. That to me is a great um, benefit and very gratifying. I want to see resilience. They have to be resilient in what they do. I want to see self-confidence. I want to see them bringing in quality work, quality inputs and quality output. Because the world out there will not give you a chance just because you are a woman. You have to prove that um, you can do it. So when you are given that chance, put in the best. Work at it. Be deliberate about what you do and come out with the best of outcomes and outputs. I, I would like to see women that have so, in summary, that, that would show resilience, that will show self-confidence, that will bring quality to work and that will bring uh, quality outputs from work. I value people. I don't do with my team members. What, what affects them um, affects me. So I ensure that whatever barrier is going to affect their success, going to affect them, I try my best to, to remove it for them from from the way for them on time. And um, I'll say last, but not the least is the fact that I don't allow issues to turn to crisis. So when I see that there's a problem I'm trying to resolve is not, I don't have the solution. What I do, I just escalate to the next person that can solve the problem for us so that we don't allow any issue to turn to crisis. So these four have been guiding me and has helped me so far. Yes, I'll say my late grandma, she's my role model, my mom also, and then the late Margaret Tasha. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would love to have more women take up um, roles in supply chain and any male dominated roles that people or the society perceive as male, male dominated or mainly for the male gender. The reason being that in supply chain, we need to be very um, strategic in our thinking and we multitask a lot and we, we have to be good planners. And women tend to have great initiatives that bring value to the business immediately they, they join. And women also are multitaskers. Women are great planners. Majority of women, I would say, are great multitaskers and great planners. So bringing this type of quality to supply chain would help you to become a success. Because in supply chain, like I already said, you have to know how to multitask. And you also, know, you also have to know how to plan well. As a woman, we have about six months maternity leave, for example. As a human being, male or female, you don't feel like working from the office. You have some issues that you want to work from home. You are free to work from home. Just take, tell your line manager and it's just go ahead. You are free to speak up your mind. If you have any ideas, in a meeting where even the MD is sitting, you have any different opinion, you can state it out and be rest assured that you will not be victimized by anyone. And then also, it's a place where if you want to become anything, I mean anything, you can be in Guinness because you have platforms that will allow you to say what you want to be in the next two, three years 
So far, your quality of work is showing that, yes, this lady or this man can do this. Guinness will give you the opportunity to be whoever you want to be and whatever you want to be. We have people that are working all across the globe, Nigerians. So it's, it's a very level playing field, I would say. So to other women out there, I think the men are waiting for us to be on the table and bring all of these ideas that we have as women to work. So please be deliberate about your work. Your career is your own. You have to own it, nurture it to grow. And then always come to the table with all of the great ideas that you have. Don't be shy to come with your ideas. Thank you.